okay welcome to my video on how to unlock uh, Huawei MiFi uh, today I'll be showing you how to unlock this Huawei E5573C this particular MiFi is from MTN Zambia but any Huawei E5573 series can be unlocked in the same method it can either be a Huawei from Zamteo in Zambia, MTN or Liquid Telecom. They have similar MiFi's. So as I mentioned earlier in the other video, these routers and everything come with a warranty seal. Once that seal is broken, once this is opened, it cannot be returned and warranty gets void. So before unlocking, you need to take note of that. That you, this MiFi needs to be un, for it to be unlocked. You need to open it to do the boot shot. So I'm going to be opening it. As you can see, this is the model number E5573. Uh, the unlock method is similar for most of them: 609, 606, 322. There are different models. So I'm now opening this MiFi. Okay, for the unlock uh, process, we shall need a screwdriver to open the MiFi. It uses the spider type. And you need any metal object like a tweezer or something for the boot shot. And take note that you need a USB cable to connect it to the computer. Make sure it's a good quality USB cable. Either the one that the router came with or any other cable, but it should have data in it for it to be picked and recognized by the computer, not only charging. Okay, so now we shall be opening the MiFi. This is the MiFi, how you open it up. Once the screws are open from there, you just pull up the forward. Okay, so the boot shot has to be done from these pins here. I hope you can see them clearly this pin at the corner the round dot with the ground any metal object like this part here it has to be touched from there and at the same time you'll be plugging in the usb cable onto the computer that is what the boot shot is about you need to boot shot it so i'll be connecting it make sure the battery is in the mifi And while connecting that port here, you plug in the USB cable to the computer. Like that. And you plug it in. And as you can see on the computer, it has picked. That is the way to show the 3G PC user interface. It has to be the in the user interface that's when the it's in download mode and it's able to be recognized by the computer for unlocking now the first step here will be to install the drivers they are in the in this folder drivers the link is provided in the video below so install the hiding drivers and the mobile partner and there's one error some machines give error code 10 so you can run this registry file in case it gives you the error i've just added it in there you might not need it so you can start with the step one use the balong tool and detect it once it's detected it will show there under the user interface go to select and select the bin file and load it let me see why is it not loading I have chosen a wrong file okay so as you can see I have the load and it has started and uh, after this process is done you will see that the router goes into download mode and the two lights start blinking 
they come on so that proves that it is into the download mode on the computer you can now close this app and you will find that it has rebooted and gone into the other application interface now so you can go back into step 2 now and run the update so this step is to downgrade the firmware of the router so you start the process of downgrade okay as you can see the update is now starting ready to download programs it's now downgrading the firmware so just wait for this process to finish it has started downloading programs okay as you can see it's almost done now the router is going to reboot just wait for the reboot to take place after the reboot it is going to complete the process and give you the success message okay it has successfully finished as you can see update successful you can close this and go to the third step the third step is to now upgrade the firmware back to the original higher version it had so you run that and start the process it will also reboot the router and start the process so just wait for that to finish okay the process is almost done as you can see the download is at the end the router is now rebooting for the final step okay as you can see it has successfully finished the process you can now go back to the final step and the final step is now putting a dashboard universal dashboard in it initially it comes with the MTN dashboard and now this one is a Huawei dashboard in which you have the option to put any APN there are so many other dashboards available on the market which you can actually use but uh, I prefer using this Huawei dashboard as you can change the APN you can use any APN for Zamteo as you know Zamteo's APN is different it uses Zamteo.net while the others use internet so you can change this and edit it in this dashboard that's why I prefer this one but you have options of putting any other dashboard you want okay this one is almost done also as you can see it's it's done successfully updated and finally this thing has been unlocked so I'm just going to plug it out and put in an Airtel sim card Airtel Zambia sim card so we can now actually close this back screw it up we don't need it open anymore this has finally been unlocked successfully so the default password has been reset as you know the first the first time it comes with a default password written underneath this is no longer the password the password has been set to zero so we need to set up our own either you can put in your own password and this is the ip address 192.168.8.1 okay as you can see it's now showing airtel it has been successfully unlocked and it is using the huawei dashboard not the mtn anymore so you can log in admin and the password is also admin by default so you can go to the settings tab and as you can see here since it's using Airtel the APN is internet and on Zamtio you can change that create a new profile with whatever APN you want to set 
So for us now we shall change the password. As you can see it has no password in it and it comes with the default 34,000 Huawei S SID. You can change that to whatever you want. So I'm going to put 678 and on the password I'm going to set it back to whatever the default password was. 8937 Okay, so it's successfully set and finally the step is over and we have successfully unlocked our MiFi and as you can see it is now showing there. You can set it to whatever network you want. You can put any SIM. You can see it has both green lights which means network is showing. Thank you very much for watching the video and they like it and support and i've given you the file below for downloading all the software for it this is the folder thank you very much enjoy and happy new year wait for the next video i'll be showing you how to unlock a vodafone MiFi.